Hello everybody, my name is Avery the Cool Cat, and today I'm going to be giving you 8 tips on how to improve and clean your gaming setup. Now, I took inspiration from a guy named Prodigy on YouTube, and he did the same kind of video, and I just wanted to take my own spin on it, and he's really cool, so I'll be leaving a link to his channel in the description. Anyways, let's move on. Now the first tip I'm going to be giving you is cleanliness. Now if you have any trash around your desk, you're going to want to pick it up because when your gaming setup is clean, that's when it's going to look its best. And if your keyboard is dirty or your monitors are dusty, you can go ahead and buy a microfiber cloth or you can have some disinfecting wipes and then wipe down the entire place. And I'll be leaving some product links in the description so you can buy that stuff. The second tip I'm going to be giving you is RGB. Now RGB is one of the most important things you need to have in your gaming setup. If you don't already have RGB, then you need to buy some light strips or anything that can light up or anything that is very colorful or bright. So if you put RGB lights behind your monitors or your desk, then it's going to look really good. In the upcoming tip, I'll tell you about having a special color scheme or theme that you might like. Now the next tip I'm going to be giving you is having a specific theme or color scheme. Now if you have a specific theme that you like, like say for instance Vaporwave, your color scheme is going to be of purple and cyan. Now those colors can work together to really enhance the mood and the ambiance of your gaming setup. Now if you have a specific color that you like, like say blue and red, then those colors can also work together to really fit the preference of your gaming setup. Now the next tip I'm going to be giving you is having a cool toy or accessory. Now if you have like a plush or lava lamp then that could really enhance the aesthetic of your gaming setup and also fit the mood. Now I have a lava lamp myself and its colors are orange and purple and it fits my vaporwave aesthetic of my gaming setup. So you, could sh you should consider buying a cool toy or accessory like that. Now the next tip I'm going to be giving you is having a moving wallpaper. Now, if you don't have a moving wallpaper, you can either get two of these programs. You can either get Wallpaper Engine off of Steam for $2.99, or you can either get Lively for free. Lively isn't as good as Wallpaper Engine, since in Wallpaper Engine, you can make your own custom wallpapers, or you can customize them to your own extent. Though, Lively is free. So, I don't really know which one to get, but I usually stick with Lively. Uh, the next tip I'm going to be giving you is having a specific poster and figurine. Now I have a Bowser amiibo next to my Nintendo Switch and my Super Mario Bros. 35th Anniversary Game & Watch. Now say for instance you have a Master Chief figurine next to your Xbox. These groups can really help the ambiance and aesthetic of your gaming setup. Along with the poster, you could also get multiple game posters like Minecraft or Cyberpunk 2077 or even Assassin's Creed. Now, the second to last tip I'm going to be giving you is having good cable management underneath your desk. Now, if you have me messy cable management underneath your desk, then it's not gonna look very good. So I suggest that you should get some cable sleeves and cable organizers to fit under your desk, like I do. I usually tape mine underneath my desk so they don't show. I also have a surge protector so nothing sparks and gets on fire. So I suggest you, also, you should also get a surge protector also. Now, the very last tip I'm going to be telling you about is having storage. Now, I have two plastic bins, both on the left and the right of my gaming setup. Now, you guys too could get some plastic organizers and you could just put them anywhere or anywhere around your room or anywhere you have your gaming set up. But if you want to go full hardcore, then you could also get a shelf and put it on top or beside or anywhere you'd like by your gaming setup. And you could display some lights or some figurines or stuff like that. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it even though I had to go through a lot of recordings. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I will be leaving some product links in the description from the tips that I mentioned, and I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.